Our next method to solve quadratic equations is what we call completing the square. And I have two examples for you here. Let's start with the simple one. Since we have a 1x squared here, we don't have to do what we need to do with the problem over here. That's why this is our simple one. But the first step is to take the constant term and move it to the other side of the equation. So we write x squared plus 5x equals minus 8. The reason why we do that is we want a perfect square on the left side of the equation. That's why they call this the completing of the square method. To make a perfect square right here, what we need to do, put over here is take the coefficient of the middle term, divide by 2, and square it, and add it over here. So this is plus half the coefficient of the middle term, and square that. Of course, if we do that to the left side of the equation, we must do exactly the same to the right side of the equation. So plus 5 over 2 quantity squared. So on the left side, we now have a complete, what we call a perfect square right here. This cannot be written as x plus 5 over 2 quantity squared. On the right side, we can write this as minus 8 plus 25 over 4. Now to combine this, we have to find the common denominator, which is 4. So this can be written as x plus 5 over 2 squared is equal to minus 8 times 4 over 4 plus 25 over 4. And of course, that's minus 32 plus 25, which is minus 7. So we can write this as x plus 5 over 2 squared is equal to minus 32 plus 25 is minus 7 over 4. And now what we can do is take the square root of both sides. So when we take the square root, we get x plus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of the right side, minus 7 over 4. Now notice here we have the square root of a negative number, which is an imaginary number. So this can be written as x plus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus i times the square root of 7 over 4. Notice that in the denominator we have the square root of 4, which is 2. So this can be written as um, x equals, and when we move the 5 over 2 over, we can write this as minus 5 over 2, and plus or minus i times the square root of 7 over 2. And that would be the final result. And that's how we use the completion of the square method to solve for this quadratic equation. Now in this example right here, we have a 4 in front of the x squared term. So the first thing you want to do is divide both sides of the equation by that number to get rid of that. So in this case, we end up with x squared plus 7x plus 5 over 4 is equal to 0. And now we can go ahead and do the same thing that we did over here. First thing we do is we move the constant term to the right side. So this becomes x squared plus 7x equals minus 5 over 4. The next step is to make this a complete, a complete square on the left side is we take half the coefficient and square it and put it over there. So this is x squared plus 7x plus 7 over 2 quantity squared equals minus 5 over 4. And since we added that to the left side, we have to add that to the right side, of course, as well. Now we just simplify, realizing, of course, that this is a perfect square. So this can be written as x plus 7 over 2 quantity squared is equal to minus 5 over 4 plus 49 over 4. And since it's already over the same denominator, we can simply add that. And so this becomes x plus 7 over 2 quantity squared is equal to, that would be minus 5 plus 49 would be 44 over 4, which of course is, when that, which was equal to 11. Wow, okay, that makes it a little bit better. So now we can write this as if we take the square root of both sides, we can say that x plus 7 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 11. And finally, when we move the 7 over 2 over to the other side, we end up with x is equal to minus 7 over 2, minus 7 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 11. And that would be the result or the answer to that quadratic equation. So that's how we use completion of the square method. It's actually a pretty good method. And especially when you work with imaginary numbers, it makes it pretty easy to work with. That's how we do that.